Hey there! In this video I'm going to share some secrets and tips about the fishing minigame in Super Cattails Paws. Super Cattails Paws is a platform game with simple controls and adorable cats. You get to explore Necoland, a fantastic world with awesome levels, villages to explore and minigames to play. One of the most interesting minigames is the fishing minigame, so I thought of creating this video to share some pro tips. Let's get started. Each world features a fishing spot, which is a secret location on the map where you can fish. To start fishing, you first need to talk to Mara in the second village, Portobello, and obtain the fishing rod item. Once you've done that, you can return to world 1, unlock the secret exit in level 1-6, and start the fishing minigame. Fishing spots have a real-time day-night cycle. This means that the in-game clock will match the time you're playing the fishing minigame. If you play in the morning, the daylight stage will be loaded, while playing at midnight will load the night stage. Here are the current time settings to understand which stage will be loaded. Each fishing spot features up to 6 different types of fish. Some fish only spawn at night, while others appear during the day. If you're trying to catch a specific fish, you may have to play at a particular time. Here's a list of the fish for each fishing spot and when they spawn. Every fish comes in three different versions, normal, rare and golden. The normal version is the most common, while the rare version is harder to find and usually features some colors or shape variations. The golden variation is the rarest and most challenging to catch. Catching rare and golden fish will reward you with coins. The in-game shop offers a fishing hat that doubles your chances of finding a rare fish. This means that it's twice as likely for a rare or golden fish to spawn in the level. This pro tip was originally shared by Mara if you talk to her in the hotel in Portobello. As you unlock new fishing spots, you'll encounter fish that are harder to catch. That's why it's essential to return to Portobello and talk to Turia. Turia can upgrade your fishing rod, increasing its power and casting range. I've planned for 6 different upgrade levels, but currently you can only upgrade to the level 2. When you're fishing, you need to tap and hold the direction of the arrow next to the fish. As soon as the direction changes, you need to change your direction as fast as possible. If you time it correctly, you'll hear a sound indicating that your timing was great, and you'll decrease the fish's stamina. On the contrary, if you're too late in changing direction, you'll give a stamina boost to the fish. Be sure to time your direction switches correctly. At the end of the day, it's time to monetize all your hard work fishing. That's right, you can head back to Portobello, talk to the fish merchant and sell all of your fish for an awesome coin prize. This makes coin grinding much better. I hope you guys appreciate my fishing pro tips. Write in the comments down below if I missed any pro tip and share your best fishing techniques. This is all for today. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon.